Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Jordan back with another e-commerce video and I got some awesome stuff to talk to you guys about in this video. In this video, we're gonna actually be talking about how to track your profits and stay on top of your bookkeeping. This is one of the most important parts of your business and a lot of people barely talk about this, probably because it's not sexy, it's boring, and it's not something that is enjoyable to do, but if you don't manage your books properly, it can be so easy for you to end up losing money. And I know that's happened to me firsthand, so I figured this video was essential to bring to you guys. So look, anyways, we're gonna get right into it. But if you like the quality of my content, give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. Also, join my Facebook group. There's over 5,000 people in there, so you can network and meet up with other e-commerce entrepreneurs. But hey, enough of that. Let's get right into the video. All right, so like I said, bookkeeping is literally one of the most important aspects of your business. It's not something that is going to make you more money, right? It's not something that you do and immediately see a result out of, but it's one of those things that if you don't do it, your entire business could crumble and fall beneath you. And the thing is, there's a ton of ways out there to manage your bookkeeping and do it, and that's kind of what I wanted to make this video about, what has worked best for me, and what I would suggest to you in your position as an e-commerce entrepreneur. So when I was first starting, I had taken my business and we were just testing products and spending money on ads and spending money on AliExpress and it was just money, money, money going everywhere, losing money each day, making money a little bit on one day. And the thing is, I wasn't tracking it at all. There was nothing where I could look and see, hey, we made this much profit today, hey, we lost this much money. So all that I was looking at was the number in my bank account. And if it was good, there was money in there, I gave it a thumbs up. If I was like negative or starting to lose money, that was a bad sign. And the thing is, while sure, this may be an okay way to manage your finances, if you do it like this, especially at scale, you're going to fail. Your business is not going to be successful. You're going to make no profits and it's not going to be something that is sustainable. So I highly suggest, even if you're not making profits yet, even if you're not making good money yet, that you stay on top of your bookkeeping from day one of starting your business. I'm talking that first ad, that first campaign you launch, you need to write down, hey, we spent $40 on this specific day and we got one sale, so we spent $7 on AliExpress. And that way you can look back on your whole entire month and say, look, this is the profits that we've made. And it makes it so much easier for yourself and for your state of mind that you can scale your business heavier or you need to know when to kind of pull back and make some adjustments to what you're doing. So what are the best ways to manage your bookkeeping? So in the past year, I've been kind of going through a ton of different options and I have two huge suggestions for you guys trying to figure this out. So the first one is for the people who are just getting started out, the people who are just making a little bit of money, maybe not making any money at all, just spending money on ads and spending money fulfilling orders. What I suggest to you is to set up an Excel or Google spreadsheet. Now. On this spreadsheet, you're gonna to wanna to include all of the expenses of your business and all of the revenue streams of your business. So for example, the way that mine looks, I'm gonna pull it up right now and I'm gonna read off the columns. I'm not gonna show you guys my books because I don't really want to do that, but I'm gonna to read to you the columns that I'm using on my specific documents. All right, so on my document, I've put in the date, the gross revenue, the discounts, so when somebody comes to your store and charges with a discount, I put that on there because you want to account for everything. I put the returns for that specific day and then I do a net revenue column. So it's all those values added up and subtracted to equal the net revenue. From there, I do the cost of goods sold, I do the ad spend, and I do the transactional fees. And then right after that, that's gonna put an equation to where I can fill in my net profit and I can see the exact profit margin of how I'm doing. So this isn't an exact one that is mine, but this is like a template that I've set up. So I'll pop that up on the screen right there. And you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about and you will be good to go. But that's what I suggest to the people just getting started out. And you can take that and you can input that manually each and every day just to stay on top of everything and be good to go. Now, for those who are starting to grow and scale their businesses, I have a better suggestion for you guys. 
I found this awesome service that I've been using a ton recently. It's called Bench. And essentially what it is, is it's not that expensive each month. You have a whole entire team of bookkeepers come and manage your books every single month. They log into your PayPal, your bank accounts, your Shopify accounts, and they track everything individually and they input it into a bunch of different reports that you can view each day and each month to stay on top of your finances. And this has been a game changer for me. I've been using this service for the past month and a half now, and it's really allowed me to get some more insight into how my business is actually performing month over month which is something that I had before with a document, but it wasn't as organized and delivered to me in a, such a good fashion. So I'm a huge advocate for Bench now. I think it's an awesome service, and it's something that I really suggest that you guys look into if you are starting to scale your store. Maybe if you're doing about 500 to 1K plus a day, this is when I would start looking to get into a software like this because they make the process hands off for you so you don't have to focus on it at all. You don't have to spend any time at all each month bookkeeping. You just need to look at the documents every month and stay on top of it. Also, another big plus for them, I kind of got screwed over doing taxes last year because it was the first time my, doing it myself. With Bench, they'll actually take your documents and they'll present it for you so you can take it and just hand it over to an accountant and it's ready for tax season. So. Honestly, guys, I think it's an awesome service. I think it's something that you could look into. So if you're interested in like figuring out more about Bench, I've put a link like down below to check it out. And maybe you guys could sign up, see if you like it. And I think they also give you like a free month of um, service if you sign up. So highly suggest that you guys give Bench a go. I've just started using it recently, but I have friends that also do big numbers that use it and they stand by it heavily. So it's kind of a newer service, I figured. I would make this video and I would kind of put you guys on and tell you what's working best for me. But yeah guys, so that pretty much wraps up how I'm doing my bookkeeping. I use Bench now. Bench, like I said, has been great for me, but prior to using Bench, I used to input everything manually and stay on top of that. And me personally, I'm kind of a lazy person from time to time. I can get a little unorganized with various points in my life. So having a team of people dedicated to doing this has made everything easier. So if you're just getting started, Get your spreadsheet, do it yourself. That's going to be the best value for you. But once you start scaling, just get a team, get people doing it for you so you don't have to focus on that and you can focus on the income producing activities that are gonna make you more money. Hope you guys got some value from this one. Just kind of a quick video. It's not a lengthy topic to go into, but if you like this video, just give me a thumbs up and also join the family. Hit that subscribe button down below. I appreciate every one of you who does that. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. I'm really going to try to stay consistent on a upload schedule. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, that is going to be the goal. And I'm going to try my best to provide that to you guys. I'm really busy at this point in my life, but you guys matter a lot to me and I want to keep dropping value as often as I possibly can. So thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.